Hello everybody, welcome to this breakdown video for Expert Division and hole number 4 in the Riverside Tournament. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also visit golfclashtommy.com for more Golf Clash related content for free. And get the ultimate tournament guides on patreon.com slash golfclashtommy, link directly in the description down below. So, hole number 4 in Expert, absolute money shot. I haven't missed this one yet with a perfect, but once again, even though... I say it's a money shot, doesn't mean that we automatically is going to drop it. Make sure you follow the advice and the setup here for a super good chance for an extra drop here, which will be very helpful in this tournament. So let's start looking at the video and then we check the adjustment and then we summarize with the video again. So here I'm looking to have a power three ball, okay? I'm looking to get a wind somewhere between seven and eight miles per hour. That's the plan. One top spin, one left spin, and now we're looking for two things. Top of the red ring by the fringe, and the bottom right of the white ring by the bunker, and then the ball guideline to the hole. So technically, it's actually three things that we're looking for. Once done that, we're going to turn around, and we're going to take our shot. We are looking to have a 12 in pull angle. If we're going to favor any side, we're going to favor 12 or 1. Have that in mind, okay? Once we have adjusted for medium distance plus 10, which is simplified with a power 3 ball to be 1 to 1. So if you do have a 7.4 in wind, you adjust 7.4 rings. And when in the end you take your shot, no overpower, no underpower, no curl. And obviously we do play with the sniper. So let's uh, summarize with the adjustment here. First take a look at the landing position. It's three references here that makes this, uh, you know very easy to follow or at least very easy to replicate so we add the spin first that's the start of our structure two landing position here okay top of the red ring by the fringe bottom white ring by the bunker and then ball guideline to the hole those three things then you know that you are correct and then we do have the spin one top one left okay so it's uh, you don't have to do any halfway adjustments, so it's one top, one left, simple. And then we do have the adjustment that is medium distance plus 10. But once again, to make it easier, it's one to one. You take the wind and that is how many rings you're going to adjust. If the wind says six or if the wind says eight, you're going to adjust that as rings to make it, once again, as simple as possible for you. One little thing that I want to add is like you saw me playing with a superstar ball, which, which is, as you can see on the screen, a power three with four. I would once again try to use a ball that gives me a wind between seven and eight miles per hour, which means that we could play with a kingmaker most of the times. And I would say to just give you more for those of you that do not have that possibility and just want to play with a kingmaker, then you can do so as well because there is tons of drops based on you know feedback on this guy that has been dropping with a kingmaker even with a high win but i would recommend to get between seven and eight miles per hour for the best possible outcome and that's why you see me playing with a different ball in this guy so let's take a look at the video here in the end and just to uh, just to you know final it up here so 7.4 wind we add the spin first one top one left spin then we do have the top of the red ring by the fringe bottom white ring by the bunker ball guideline to the hole once that is done we're gonna turn around and we're looking for a pull angle that is 1200 but if we do want to favor any side 12 then it's gonna be 1201 make sure that you're not favoring 1159 then you will most likely miss right Adjustment for 7.4 miles per hour is 7.4 range. So medium distance plus 10 power 3 ball or 1 to 1 as that is the same. Bouncing nicely into the rough and you see that we come in with a perfect speed and the ball is right at pin for a lovely hole in one here on hole number 4. If you do want to see more breakdown videos make sure you comment in the comment section below and also don't forget to hit thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and good luck in your gold flash game.